everybody, this is Jen from Cookies, Cupcakes, and Cardio.com. Today I'm excited to be announcing my involvement in the Makers and Bakers program. The program is sponsored by Wilton and Simplicity and is aimed at creators in the baking and DIY categories. Each month they're going to be sending me some of their newest products and from time to time I'll be testing them and showing them to you. So to kick off the program, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial which uses all of this month's goodies. So we're going to be using ready to use gum paste. We're going to be using the color swirl three color coupler. And you can put three kinds of icing into this little coupler here. We're also going to use the color right performance color system. It gets perfect colors every single time. We're going to be using the decorator preferred colored multi-pack here of fondant. And we're also going to be using these peacock baking cups and we're making these adorable peacock cupcakes. Now, if you would like one of these sets of goodies, all you have to do is come to the Makers and Bakers booth at VidCon this year, while I will be giving away 100 sets of these goodie bags with all of these products inside. I can't wait to meet some of you there. If you are interested in coming, make sure you check out the description box below for the times that I'll be at the booth, and also for more information on these products that I'm gonna be showing you today. Now, enough chatter, let's get started on the tutorial. So to complete the project, we're going to need a couple more things other than the goodie bag items that I already went over with you. We're also going to need some vanilla cake batter, and we're also going to be using vanilla buttercream. Now those recipes are going to be linked in the description box for you. And we're also going to be using a couple of the flour stamens, and I think I'm going to be using these larger ones down here at the bottom. We're going to get started first with the cupcakes. So in each of these five bowls, I have one cup of cake batter. We're going to be coloring four of the different cake batters and we're going to be leaving one, just the regular vanilla color. Now for coloring, I'm going to be using the color right system. Now there's no guessing involved in the color right system because you are getting the exact amount of drops per two cups of cake batter that you need to get the exact color. Now, because I'm only using one, cu one cup of cake batter, I'm going to divide the drops in half. So I'm going to be making green and we're going to need eight yellow and one blue. I'm going to be making yellow. I'm going to need five yellow and one orange. We're going to make this blue and we're going to need 20 drops of the blue. And for teal, we're going to need four blue and one yellow. So I'm just going to take the color system and I'm just going to start and make the blue with 20 drops. So I have all of my color drops in my four batters now. So now I'm just going to mix them each up with a little mini spatula and you're gonna get these beautiful vibrant colors. After I've mixed each of the colors, I'm going to put them into a piping bag and that's how we're going to get the batter into the cupcake cups. So here in my cupcake pan, I have placed my two inch diameter Peacock Standard Baking Cups, and I've also got my cake batters now in piping bags. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start at the darkest blue, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of batter, just kind of enough to cover the bottom, and then I'm gonna to go to the next lightest one, the teal here, and I'm gonna kind of press into the middle like that. We're aiming to make the cupcake about um, two thirds to three quarters full. So I've got that bright green there, the beautiful colors, and then the yellow right in the center. And then the last color is going to be this white that we just left, the regular vanilla color. So I'm gonna repeat that, and then I'm going to place them into the oven at 350 degrees, and they're gonna bake for about 20 minutes. And when they're out, I'm gonna make sure that they are nice and cool before I do any sort of decorating. So I have the flower stamens here and I'm going to be using these to make the crest of the peacock's head. Now I want the ends to be blue, so I've got a little bit of the blue color right system in my bowl here. I'm just going to hold the stamen with a pair of tweezers, it just makes it a little bit easier. Taking a little bit of the dye here and I'm just going to color the ends. Now you're going to need three of them per peacock cupcake. So you wanna make sure you do both ends and that you get enough done and make sure you set them aside to dry or you'll get the gel all over your hands. So I have some ready to use gum paste here and I have about twice the amount of the blue fondant. I'm gonna mix the gum paste in with the fondant and what that's going to do is it's going to provide stability for the neck of the peacock because we want it to be nice and stiff and that's what the gum paste is gonna help the fondant do. So I'm just putting them together and I'm just gonna knead them until they combine. 
So I've got the fondant and the gum paste mixed together and I've just separated them into small little balls. I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to shape them into the peacock's neck and the head part. So I'm just going to roll it here into a nice tight ball like this. And then I'm just going to start to roll it kind of out like a log here. And I'm just going to work this other end to be quite narrow. I'm going to get it as much as I can down to here. Now then stretching it out here, I'm just going to bend it over top of my finger like this. And then I'm going to take this end and I'm just going to work this end until it comes to kind of like a sharp point like you would find on the peacock's beak. So I'm going to do that with all of these different ones and you need one of these per cupcake of course. So I have some gum paste rolled out here and I've got the letter I cutter from the Wilton Little Letter Cutting Set and I'm just going to press it into the gum paste and then I'm going to use that little piece. I need a little coaxing off here. And I'm going to use that little piece and I'm going to put it on top there. But first I'm just going to use a little bit of water just to help it stick. Just need a little bit. And then taking that little piece up, we're just going to place it onto the peacock's head and I'm going to repeat it on the other side. So I have three stamens for the top of the peacock head here and I folded them all in half. And I'm just going to take a sharp tool. You could also use like a toothpick if you don't have this kind of a tool. And I'm just going to poke a hole in the top here and then I'm going to put in the stamen like this. And this is like I said earlier, creating the crest at the top of the peacock's head. So I'm just going to do this two more times and put these all in. The last thing we need to do to complete the peacock's head is to draw a little black line using the black gel here. And I'm just going to slant it from the top here and then just go down on an angle just like that. And I'm going to let that dry briefly and then I'm going to flip it over and repeat on the other side. So we're going to make the peacock eye on the tail feathers now and I'm going to be using the decorator preferred fondant. Now I've got just the regular blue fondant here and all the fondant is super easy to work with and it's also really easy to mix together colors to make new ones. So I've got the green and the yellow fondant and I'm going to mix them together in order to make a lime green. And I'm also going to be mixing together my blue fondant and then with some gum paste because I want to make a lighter blue. So as you can see the ratios are like similar here and slightly more white for the lighter blue. So I'm going to take the green and the yellow and I'm just going to mix them together and make that nice bright lime green and then I'll mix and make the light blue. So I've rolled out the three colors here and they're mixed together very nicely. And in order to cut out the peacock eye on the tail feathers, I'm going to use a Wilton 230 tip to cut out the little tiny spot in the center. I'm also going to be using a little teardrop shape to cut out the lime green. And then I'm going to be using the top of a number 12 tip to cut out the light blue. And we're also going to be using the bottom of the number 12 tip for, with the yellow, but I'm going to show you that step next. So what I'm going to do first is just cut out here. Now this tip, I'm just going to press down and kind of roll it so I get the whole thing. And it always sticks in there because obviously it's a tip and not meant for cutting, but it's also it's just the perfect size and the perfect shape for this. So that's why I'm using this one. And I'm just using a little tool to kind of coax it out there. So I've got that one there. And now I'm going to use the teardrop shape here to cut out the green. And again, it needs a little coaxing to get out here. I'm just going to tap that out. And then I'm going to cut out the top here using the top of the number 12 tip. Now, if you have like already pre-made cutters that you've got of these sizes, just use those. I'm just using stuff that I think is really handy. So now I'm going to take this um, little light blue one. I'm just going to put a dab of water onto the green. I'm just going to put the light blue shape on top of the green. And then I'm going to take the darker blue and a little drop of water and put the darker blue on the top. And I'm going to get the yellow ready for the final step of the, the little eye. So I've got the yellow fondant rolled out here. And like I said, I was going to use the bottom of the number 12 tip. And that's exactly what I'm going to do to make this circle shape. And again, just pop it out here with another little tool. And this fondant tastes awesome. Like usually fondant gets a really bad rap, but this stuff is seriously so creamy and like tastes like vanilla. It's delicious. And I'm going to put a little drop of water right there into the yellow. And then I'm going to take the whole thing and carefully put it on top of the yellow. And then I'm going to try to just carefully like shape the yellow part to be a little bit more like that teardrop. 
just like that. And then I'm going to just press it down gently to kind of like press these together. So I'm going to repeat that a bunch of times. You probably want about four or five per cupcake. So now I've moved on to the buttercream with all of the elements of the peacock ready to go and or drying. So in each bowl here, I have one cup of buttercream. So just like we did with the regular cake batter, I'm going to color the batter according to the color guide. And so I'm going to put the 20 drops of blue to make the blue. And then I'm also going to be making um, a teal and a light green. So I have my buttercream mixed up here. It's ready to go now. And I've got the color swirl here and I'm going to use the color swirl to easily blend three different colors of the icing to create the tail feathers of the peacock. So I'm going to got the coupler here and I'm going to put them into the bottom of the piping bag and it just slides on down there. I've cut the end off and just squeeze it down here like that. And then I'm just going to cut my hand like this around the piping bag. And then I'm going to fill the piping bag and you don't want to fill it too full because it's a little bit difficult to hold if you put too much icing into your three bags. So I'm probably going to put about um, half a cup of icing into each bag. So I have my icings in the piping bags ready to go and I'm going to be using a Wilton 125 petal tip. Now I'm just going to snap these into place here, the little tip parts here. And then I'm going to place the actual petal tip over top and then slide on the purple part of the coupler. We're going to take our bags here and our cooled cupcakes and I'm going to have the top part of the tip here is the narrow part and I'm just going to cover the top of the cupcake, kind of doing like you would with a petal effect here, just like this and I'm going to go all around the cupcake. Now I want to keep it so like the head of the peacock is going to be down over here. So I'm just building towards it and I don't want to change the direction of my petals. So I'm just working around this way here. So I'm just going to go around like this and just keep going and doing a couple more and then I will show you the next step. So the final step to complete the peacock is to place the head here just down at the base there of the feathers and then just put the peacock eyes just all around the outside here like this. So I'm going to do a whole bunch more of these and I'll be back to show you the finished product. So there you go everybody, how to make peacock cupcakes. So I've sliced this one in the center here in half so you could see the beautiful design inside the cake itself. And I've added a couple of extra peacock feathers. Now you definitely don't have to add that in, but if you do want to, I managed to find these at my local fishing store. Thanks so much for watching everybody and I really do hope you get to come and meet me at VidCon. Remember the first 50 people each day win one of the free Makers and Bakers goodie bags with all of the wonderful Wilton products inside of it. You get to take it home and make these peacock cupcakes yourself. But if you're not headed to VidCon, no worries, you will have an opportunity in the future to win one of the goodie bags. So make sure you stay tuned. See you next time.